Why you do that? One, put it back. Two, put it back. Oh my god! But that's because we finna go get an outfit for the night. So is it it's probably just me. But I usually look dusty when I'm going to get an outfit and some shoes and stuff. So I usually look dusty because I'm saving all that for the night. But anyways, I'm so happy to see y'all. Y'all thought I wasn't finna post on Friday. Like I said, Mondays and Fridays, I'm not playing. Yes, it may be late. I uploaded that Friday video around like 11. 40 something and hit YouTube, y'all. And if y'all follow me on Instagram at Crazy Modern Sugar, I put in my um, Instagram story that it's some footage that I wanted to include on that video and it pushed back the upload time, but y'all was gonna get it regardless, okay? Like I said, Mondays and Fridays, but for those who are just clicking this video and just see me, just met me, how you doing, how you going, how you doing, what's up? Look, these was the nails that I had got in, that, in my previous video. They are so cute. I'm obsessed with them. <laughs> I'm obsessed with them. They're so cute. But anyway, this is what I got on before we get into what I need to talk to y'all about. Anyways, I just threw on some white sweatpants that I'm sure y'all saw before. Uh, Windbreaker. This is from Windsor. These sweatpants are a sample from the line I'm working on that should be dropping in winter. But don't worry about it because these are just plain sweatpants i have to actually put the design and stuff on it but i'm testing for quality all right because this is a luxury streetwear brand yes it's streetwear but the luxury has come from the quality okay so this is what i got on you know what i'm saying this is what i got on or whatever this is what we're going to find the outfit in but anyways let me let me let let me break something down to y'all because i like to ex i like to tell y'all my experiences because you never know y'all may come across this or may have come across this and we could you know give advice to each other about how to go about things that's why you go through life and life experiences and you share advice or you share what you've been through so you know you can help the next person or you can get better advice from somebody who's been through that and handled it probably much better than you did or i did anyways so on my last video this shopping portion that I'm about to, to do today was supposed to be done yesterday, which would have been included in Friday's upload. But I went to Firestone. For those who did not watch that video, let me just do a run through. I went to Firestone because I needed an oil change. So I went there, the same one I usually go to. I went to Firestone and when they do your oil change, they do like a general check on your whole car to make sure you know, everything is working up to par and you don't need to replace something soon or something's not going bad. And so, you know, just avoid any risk of you having any car troubles coming up. So they do a quick free run test to tell you your car is good. You know, just like a checkup. So tell me why they told me that my, um, my battery tested bad and that I would need a new battery very soon. I asked this man, I said, is there any sign, you know, that I'm gonna need a battery other than the battery light comes on, which I have not seen my battery light come on. He said- No, there's no sign, but you know, one day you might not be able to crank up your car. I told my mother and my mother said, she said- If your battery was going bad, you would have, like your electrical and everything and your car would have, you know, started dimming out, basically having electrical problems and things like that and problems cranking up your car and things like that. 
But she said, um, because my mama had AAA. She was like, you know what? Just check with AAA. So, you know, I got AAA over here. And, you know, AAA for the free-free, they will bring you a battery. Not for the free-free. But they're going to basically what would happen is they, they come with a battery for my car. Because when you when you ask for the tech to come out here, you tell them what kind of car you got, especially if you need a battery, they come with the battery. You pay for them to, you know, do, do whatever you do. They just bring it to you and they do it where you are. So that's what would happen. But, it, and they also run a test on your battery and your alternator and XYZ. They run a test on your car also before it's free. So the man gets here, the um, double, triple A um, tech, he gets here fairly quickly. He gets here and he runs, you know, the test on my car. I told him what was going on. I told him that I just recently had an oil change and they're saying that my battery test did bad. Da, 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 da. So he said, okay, I mean, let me just look at it. He clamped the thing. I seen him tighten something, but anyways, he clamped um, the stuff around my battery and started running the test on my battery and my alternator. He turned around and he said, well, I don't know what Firestone was looking at, but your battery and your alternator are in very good shape here. And he turned the phone around and he said, your battery and your alternator is testing just fine. Your stuff is 100% okay. And I was like, hmm, yeah, because, and I also asked them because I was like, I had got an oil change last month and my battery was just fine last month. He said, yeah, I don't know what they was looking at, but your battery and your alternator is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. You don't need a new battery. Off the top, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. You know, that's good news. I, I'm saving, keeping money in my pocket, but I'm just like, yo, in this time of inflation, y'all really trying to scheme? Trying to take my battery and stuff. But anyways, he was like, um, your battery's in good shape. And he can tell that I drive a lot and I drive far. I do. And this is why I say this and why I want to share this. Just always get a second opinion, number one. And number two, I also learned that the more you drive your car and, you know, the more you use your car, basically it keeps your battery in good shape. Because um, with the profession that I have, I tend to drive long distances for long periods of time. And he said, I can tell that you do that because your battery's in really good shape for it to be, you know, a certain amount of years old. And I was like, okay, 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 okay. He said, yeah, you keep that up. Your battery's gonna last you years. And I was like, okay, that's very good to hear. He gave me some tips um, about where to go to get my that spare off the back of my car, my spare tire fix. He, gets, he told me some tips on where I can get some um, affordable, more affordable tires that are in great shape and X, Y, Z. But he said, yeah, you're all good. You don't need no battery and all of that. So I like to share my experiences and whatnot. And I felt like that was needed to share because I was astonished. I was appalled. I was like, what the? Because why you do that? Why you do that? Why you do that? Like, okay. We finna head out, get on this road, and get going. Because what I want to do is I want to go ahead and get everything I need, right? I want to get my outfit. I want to get my shoes. Uh, I think I, I'm going to stop by either CVS. Because CVS got, like, the little um, makeup stuff that I need still. I got to get some setting spray. So, I'm going to stop by CVS or maybe Ulta, depending on where I am. Ulta right up the street from me. So, I might, probably might end up stopping by Ulta just to get a little makeup stuff. And I want to get all that done ASAP because I want to come back home and I want to tidy up before I actually head out. Because y'all see, I got water. That's my purse on the counter. But I got um, stacks of water I need to load in the fridge. I want to clean my kitchen. I want to clean my room. I just want to make sure everything is nice, clean, and tidy. So, I'll come back to a clean a clean house tonight after the comedy show. I just like coming back to a clean home. So anyways, let's get this day started. I'm tired of rambling on. I just felt like that was something that's good to share. You know what I'm saying? In case, you know, y'all have this future problems or y'all have had this problem, you know, let's share our experiences. That's why we're here. That's why we're coming to car turn. Okay, so let's get on the road. Let's get started. Let's go. A little longer than a few minutes later, I just stopped just to get my tire changed real quick. So after that, then we go shopping. Uh. I just got my back tire fixed. So now my tires is good to go. Um, I noticed I need an alignment 
on my front two tires the dude told me um until i'm ready to replace that front tire then i get an alignment don't do it until i do that he recommend me do that so don't run me a lot of money and i'm not and i'm not wasting the tire y'all this is why i don't like driving over here because people just throw their cars out in the street it's annoying it's annoying okay it's annoying so lord whoo all right so i'm heading back to the house because i noticed that i left my um debit card at home i had to pay with my um bank credit card and i don't like that i don't i, I like to use that card for like bills so i'm heading back to the house so i can get my card and then i'm gonna head to international mall but as of right now with my car everything is pretty much caught up my battery i had got an oil change they told me to check my battery and all of that da -da -da -da. oh my god i got my battery checked my alternator is good everything's tested so yeah when it comes to my vehicle i need it i move around a lot i drive around a lot i need my car <laughs> so if, if i get a sign of anything going bad i need to know what's going on asap so i can fix it immediately before some before it gets too far out of my hands so now that the car is out of the way okay we finna um i'm heading back to the house like i said get my card and then we're gonna head to the mall um i was gonna go to the outlets today but i feel like i got a better chance at the big mall the international mall i feel like i have a better chance there instead of the outlet because i'm not i'm not too used to the outlets honestly i'm not really used to them like that i know i can save on them but i'm not used to the outlets like that so i'm gonna just check out the mall first see if i see anything and if i find an outfit or whatnot if i don't then i'll head to the outlets but if i do no need to go to the outlets i will go back home and i will do my cleaning and everything had actually get my outfit stopped by Ulta because y'all see me walk in Walmart because they was doing my um replacing my tire so I was like you know what let me go to their makeup section and see if they have some of the stuff that I need because I can get it while I'm in here and I don't have to um stop at Ulta child they did not have nothing nothing they didn't even have the um they didn't even have the freaking what is it? The shade that I use in the Maybelline concealer. I was like, do they at least got the Maybelline concealer? But they ain't have it. So I was like, you know what? They don't have nothing. So I'm gonna end up probably most likely going to Ulta. Stopping at Ulta after I get my um out after I get my outfit. So yeah, that's the plan. Let's just get on with the day. Because I'm just happy that my car is in good shape. Okay? Let's do it. Drop the roof and let it smoke it. I got diamonds to it since he slides in both ears Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight Slip that on and we might miss the fight Fuck or not, I keep the guala in my shorty bag You know she wanna mind when she tattoo that ass I'm a lover boy, she love the toys Keep it coming, you a rider It's that roll myself a day and count my figure shit It's that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit if I catch you knocking off, then it's gon' be some shit Well, you can do what you wanna Live how you wanna Spin what you wanna Be who you wanna be We all stutter Till I D.I.E. It's, I know it's a light right there, but I need y'all to hear me out. It's three hours to showtime. And I drove all the way to the mall, to International Mall. Trash. They had nothing. And then I had to drive all the way back to my mall. And then time is winding down. So I was like, you know what? Uh, so I'm explaining to you why I show y'all. Just stick with me. I, I had to buckle in and get it done. You know, because... We got a show to get to, right? So, I have the whole outfit. Let's start with the shoes.
Gianni Bonnie, Gianni Bonnie. Okay, the lighting sucks right now. It sucks, but we're gonna work with it because it's nighttime. These are the shoes. All right, these are the shoes. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Presentation is everything. Ooh. Hold up. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. <laughs> Yo, these are so bomb. They are so cute. Right? Y'all see? I hope it's not like. Oh my goodness! So these are the Gianni Bonnies that I had got towards night. And with these shoes, I have, I wanted to do like a, like a cool, chill outfit with the heels. You know what I'm saying? So I got, I went to Tilly's. It's a real quick outfit. I got this graphic tee. But this is the front. Foul. Foul. And I got it in a small. So it could be fitted. And then I went to... Air Postal. I have two pairs of jeans, but I'm only wearing the ones that have no distress in. I have two pairs because they had a buy one, get one free deal going on. So I was like, well, then shoot. So don't pay those no mind. I got these jeans to put on with them. I tried them on before I left. They are very snug as a bug in a row. And then I also got some anklets because I'm an anklet girl. It was buy one, get one free in the whole store. So. I just got these anklets. And I, I'm the type to wear anklets on both ankles, so. Okay. But, yes, that's my outfit. Very cute, straight, to the point, simple, and fun. I love these freaking heels. I cannot get, I cannot wait to get ready tonight. I've been wanting these shoes for the longest. So, now that I have them, I don't want to hear nothing from you. Jasmine, here we go. <laughs> You know that shit that be caught in the air vent that you gotta get down with a stick? The tip be extra long and shit. You got something to do? I'm trying to show you his shoes. Look at his shoes. Don't feel bad, ladies. Every guy got one good ball and one bad ball. <laughs> Every guy got that one testicle that's always there for them. No matter what, you always know that it's right there chilling. And every guy's got that one ball that disappeared on their ass, you don't know where it's at. Shit be gone. Day. Today is Monday, which is the day y'all forget it to be the y'all. But um, the last clip that y'all should have saw was I put in a clip of Sean's show. Y'all, I was running so late. That's why I couldn't even, yeah. So I was like, let me just get, get a couple clips to show y'all his show. I had a great time, y'all. My shoes was so bomb. Hold on. Still got in my hair because I need to put it on top of it. But these shoes, y'all, so freaking cute. Like, look at this. <laughs> these shoes, y'all, are bomb. You know what I'm saying? They are bomb. I like them. I love them, I love them, I love them. And that's my favorite color. If y'all didn't see my Q&A, that's my favorite color. But anyways, no, I don't have them on the couch because I did wear them. So, I don't want to get my couch dirty. But anyways... We can y'all already know what day it is. It's, it's the top of the week. You gotta start strong. Okay, get your workout days in, whether you work out three days a week or two days a week, five days a week, or four days a week. Get it going. So obviously I don't feel like going today. I really don't. But the days you don't go usually be your best days, and you gotta build what is it? Self-discipline. You gotta discipline yourself. You know what I'm saying? So y'all already know I got this oxy shred. For those who are just not tuning in, and you did not see my last video, did not see my last video. 
This is Oxy Shred. See? Make sure y'all actually seeing it. This is the Oxy Shred. It's great bubble gum. I did forget to mention how it tasted because I did get a question about how um, the taste of it. And I tried my best to answer it, girl. So <laughs> basically, it tastes like grape because it's grape bubble gum and that's the only flavor that they had. It tastes like grape, but it tastes like... If y'all ever had those vitamins growing up as a kid where, you know, your mom be like, go take a vitamin or something... And it's not the gummy, it's not the gummy vitamins, it's like the hard, chunky vi vitamin. And you eat it, and it's like, you, it's crunchy, it's the crunchy one. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like vitamin, like that. You can taste the powder in it, basically is what I'm saying, but it's not powdery. It's like a drink version of that powdery vitamin. I really try my best. That's how it tastes. That's how it tastes. <laughs> That's exactly how it tastes. So I'm finna go to the, I'm finna down this. I'm finna go to the gym. I'm finna take y'all in there with me. The first day of the week for me personally is always gonna be a full body day. It's the first day of the week. I use, I don't work out. Once I hit my days, I like take a day or two off, but not three, just a day or two. <laughs> so my first day of the week is always gonna be a full body. So I'ma just, Take y'all in there with me. Don't care. So I'm just going to go ahead and down this. And when it's full body, it's usually a lot of weight, body weight exercises. But y'all see that in the next couple clips. But as for the show, I did really enjoy Sean's show. For, all, for those who follow me, at Crazy Modern Sugar. I did enjoy his show. It was very fun. I loved his shoes. Y'all, those shoes were bomb. I said, I don't see your shoes. I was like, his shoes was nice. Those shoes were nice. I really like these shoes. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to down this. Wait 10 minutes because it says uh, don't work out. After you drink this, wait 10 minutes or whatever. But by the time I get there, 10 minutes will pass. So that's what's on the agenda for today. Let's just get into it. So the quicker we get through this, the faster y'all see me on y'all screen. Okay? Hey y'all, so okay, let's start out with this workout. Like I said, we're doing full body today. I'm gonna show y'all some of the things I did. Not everything, but I did a lot. But I'm gonna just show y'all what I got. So right now I'm just setting up my station, what I'm gonna do here. So how I'm starting it off, I'm gonna do squats. I'm gonna do three sets of 10, eight, and five. I go up on weight, that's why I go down in reps. So when I first started, I had 10 plates on each side. If y'all don't know, this bar is already 25 pounds. So when you add on a plate, it just adds on to that, okay? So first I start with 10 plates on each side and I squat 10 like y'all just saw. And then I go into, it's a compound workout. I step back on those two weights on the floor and I grab that same matching 10 pound weight and then I squat another 12, right? I do 12 when I do that second workout. Then I re-rack it like y'all see. I re-rack these with 25 weight. I get the 25 matching plate, get back to my little things, squat them out to 12 reps. This is like a combination compound workout. I don't, I don't know the, the complete, the correct term for it, but it's a compound workout is what I'm gonna call it right now. So right now what I'm going into after I come back from wiping off my face with sweat, what I'm going into, I just racked my rack with 35s, with 35 plates. I'm gonna go ahead and go back. Now I'm squatting five, because this is my like max now. So I'm squatting five, rack it up, get the matching 35 pound plate, squat 12. That's what I do. Now we're moving in, into um, hamstrings. So now I'm gonna do um, hamstring pull-ups. That's what I call them, but it's another word for that. I know you can do it with single weights, with RDLs, but this is what I'm doing. So I racked it up with 25. For some reason, my hamstrings are so much more stronger than my quads. Don't ask me, I don't know why. So like I, I, like I said, I do the same thing. I do 10, eight, and five. But for these ones, I went up on max. So I did like 10, five and three, I think was the reps that I did with this set. I did three sets of 10, five and three. And then it's a, also a compound workout. I tend to do compound workouts a lot. Y'all see what I just did. So now I'm gonna go ahead and re-rack up 
to what is these 25 so now I'm going up on 35s hit that right quick right there y'all don't forget to take a breath in between sets this is a speeded these these clips are speeded take your time and take your breaths okay now I did go up in my resistance band if y'all didn't notice the first time they were yellow so now this is the highest of resistance of my three resistance bands this get your hips out right get the hourglass right y'all so now what I'm doing I'm going into 45. This is my max for my hamstring. So this is why I only did three of these. Y'all, I had to, I pushed through, okay? Regardless of what it is, you need to push through. You're not gonna be strong. You gotta build that muscle, okay? I had to push through. I had to sit that thing up, down, up, down. You see, one, put it back. Two, put it back. Take a breath. Three, put it back. That's what I did. But regardless, I always did my resistance bands. I think I hit at least 10 reps of that. Now we're gonna go into hip thrust, okay? So, you know, you gotta be careful, okay? Be careful. If the bar is too heavy for you to be picking it up and down, take the weights off first and then add your weights, then put it down on the ground, all X, Y, Z. Put your shoes on when you do this. When I do like those squats and things that y'all saw, I take my shoes off because it helps with balance. But when you're doing hip thrust, put your shoes on so your feet got some grip, all right? Now I did three sets of 10 straight through on each one, even though some sometimes a clip may Cut, but I did 10 of each one and I added on uh, these are 25 racks and I just added on 10 I didn't go higher than that because I held it I'll do the hip thrust and I'll hold it with the last one so I think I did 10 I think I did 10 10 and 5 I think that's what I did Now we're moving on. I'm finna target the lower back on this. If y'all don't do this machine, I highly recommend this machine. Target your lower back, get your whole back right. When I do the first set, of course I did three sets of 10, I think. When I did the first set, I do it without weight. The last two sets, I do it weight. That's why that 25 pound plate is right there. Crank those out and we good to go. Just crank them out. Now this last one, I get on a Stairmaster for 45 minutes sometimes. I do not record that. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm back. I was editing the video and literally was on the outro of the video and noticed that I had a boogie oogie. So I'm not gonna post that clip. I'd rather just tell y'all right here. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Ooh, inches, inches. Okay, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Thank y'all so much for, and I hope y'all, I said that so wrong. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to see y'all on Friday. Okay. Uh -huh.